Hey guys, Retro Geek here, and today we are here with our project update. So I'll just start right away. So I'll start with the uh, Kubota. So I don't really have much going on with this thing. It's got some wiring issues, but it's been like that since I bought it. I bought it used, so it's got a couple issues. And then, if you guys follow me on my Instagram, this Honda, it's a Honda HR214, it's got an HRV120 on it, or no, GXV120 on it, and yeah, I haven't found a carburetor box for that yet, because it's a, it's a pretty rare mower, and um, moving over here, uh, that's just some mower parts for the Kubota, um, there's the Craftsman, you'll see that on my Instagram a lot too had this for about two years and it's been nothing but trouble the engine and everything to do with it driving works perfectly fine but uh, the decks cause us a lot of issues I put new blades uh, freed up the spindles and everything on it new belt and uh, then the front tire went flat and the deck balance went out and bent the blades and now it won't cut it's also got no blades in or blade brakes installed because they were broken so every time you start the engine the uh, deck turns very slowly too which is pretty dangerous now moving on to this this is my 2018 uh, Tao Tao 125 CC Chinese ATV now I'm not a big fan of Chinese equipment it uh, tends to break a lot like that's a Kimpex Chinese, and that's a Geo 110. They're both broken because of that. So this one, we bought it brand new at a dealership, and pretty much got scammed on it. It had some uh, unnecessary electronics, like a remote start system and locking that didn't work. And, uh, yeah, so we went and ripped out all the garbage wiring and left all the essentials and as you can see we haven't really finished that yet the engine runs perfectly fine it's on its third carburetor uh, that's because the carburetors aren't very good on them either I switched from the 125 carburetor to a 110 carburetor works just fine and uh, the 110 carburetor seems to be a lot more reliable the 125 ones send, uh, tended to die a lot this thing's out of gas right now, but I would start it for you if it had gas. The only thing we left on this thing that was uh, original was this shifting uh, indicator. And then it's like, it's one of the ones that has reverse neutral and then drive instead of just regular drive like the Geo over there. So, moving on up here, we have... The snowblower, you've probably seen this on my Instagram if you follow me. I um, took the whole engine apart two winters ago. The gas tank was full to the top with frozen water. And so was the carb. And we ended up buying a brand new carb from Amazon. And uh, I put the engine back on. This is a uh, nine nine and a half horsepower Briggs Tech, And it's uh, built for the snowblower. This snowblower is from Sears Canada. And, uh, yeah, they closed, so we can't get parts from them anymore. This is the 2006 model, and it's done lots good for us. Yeah, I got it running mint, and the only thing that's wrong with it right now is the one tire doesn't have a tube in it and doesn't work. But, yeah, this one we put a tube in because it just kept going flat, and it was so hard to plow snow. And then I used to have a, uh, a rusty old lawnmower we found in the forest. It was a 60s one. If you saw my Instagram, I engine swapped it. And yeah, we uh, took that engine off because it worked fine. We kept it. And then we took the original engine and then the deck and we brought it to the scrapyard because it's not like it's going to run again. It had big problems with the engine. The valves got stuck. They were bent. And uh, yeah, so I kept the other engine and then sold it with a bunch of other lawnmowers. So... Let's see if I have any more projects. Well, I think that's it for this video. I don't seem to have any more projects. 
but yeah, here's the update of uh, all the projects. And uh, I'm just about to release a new video on my other channel about uh, something that includes compact discs. So stay tuned for that video and be sure to check my other channel. Please like and subscribe to this video if you haven't already. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.